Welcome to the best Android apps for April 2017. As always, links to each of the apps will be in the description below, so don't forget to check them out. First up, we have Frame Wallpapers. This is an Unsplash wallpaper client, which features some of the best high resolution, free to do whatever you want with them images, which can really spice up just about any setup. It features a super clean user interface and makes picking one of the many ridiculously nice wallpapers super easy to do. It has a photo of the day feature, which showcases a brand new image every 24 hours, as well as a latest popular and featured collection, each of which take away the need to even think about what to look for if you're someone who doesn't know where to start. Alternatively, if you want to get more specific with the type of wallpapers you're after, you can use the search function to sift through the thousands of images within the app. Next up, we have Caffeinate. This is a pretty unique app with a super simple function. Upon toggling this application within your quick settings, Caffeinate will start a five minute timer, which will then keep your display awake until the timer hits zero. This is perfect for when you're using an application that doesn't keep your screen awake, such as Google Chrome or Twitter and so forth, and means with a tap of this toggle, you can go about using your device hands-free without having to keep tapping your display to keep it awake. One super practical example for myself is if I'm looking at a chord chart or guitar tabs for a particular song, then tapping the toggle means it will stay awake and I will not have to continuously tap the display. You can also tap the toggle multiple times to increase the timer by five minute increments up to a maximum of 60 minutes. And you can also jump into the settings to adjust the default duration. The only downside to this app is that you need to have Nougat running on your device for it to work. After that, we have Color Switch. This is a super simple yet addictive game that involves navigating a color changing ball through different colorful obstacles. Each time you pass through an obstacle, the ball will change color, but the trick of the game is to make sure the color of the ball always matches the color of the obstacle when passing through. It's a frustratingly simple game in the best way possible, and you'll no doubt find yourself endlessly trying to beat your previous score. After that, we have the Mellow Dark Icon Pack. This is a 99 cent icon pack from the Play Store, and as you can see, it has these really slick, shapeless icons that look super appealing without being too showy. The app features over 2,500 icons, support for 2K displays as well, and also an additional 77 super high quality cloud wallpapers. The supported icons look incredible and give any setup a unique look, but a lack of masking for non-existent icons means that they tend to stand out pretty drastically, so hopefully that will be something fixed for the future. Next up, we have Peak Launcher. Now, I'll be the first to admit that I probably wouldn't use this launcher on a full-time basis because of the way that I use my phone, but I'm showcasing it because it's a launcher app that is super simple and will be great for those who are sick of the clutter that can come about with many of the launchers available these days. So Peak has three main screens. The first is a smart suggestion screen that changes the apps displayed based on where you are and what you're doing. For example, if you've got Bluetooth switched on, then the launcher will display some music and podcast apps, given you're most likely to jump in and use those when you've got Bluetooth enabled. This main screen also has a T9 dialer for searching through all of your apps, but a quick swipe up will launch the dedicated app drawer. Swiping down on the main screen will also activate a Google search bar. So without a doubt, this launcher keeps things tidy and simple. There's also a bunch of customization settings if you're that way inclined, and it also features the app shortcuts we all know and love from Android Nougat. Most of us know what it's like to be doing the late night scroll of our social media platforms, and there's nothing worse than that screen blinding us because it doesn't go as dim as it should. Night screen is the best solution I've come across for this issue so far, and the main reason is that you can place it as a toggle either in your quick settings if you're using Android Nougat, or on your home screen, which makes your life super easy. The app itself is basic in functionality in that it places a mask across your entire screen, which means it can go as dim as your heart desires, even to the point where it looks like the screen is pretty much off. You can also use the blue light filter if you want, but what I really like is that the mask will cover everything, including your status bar and your navigation bar, which isn't always the case in other similar apps. After that, we have Droop. This ditches your traditional dialer and contact apps in favor of an all-in-one interactive phone dialer application. It has all the basic functionality of your standard phone and contacts applications. So you have your favorites, recents, and all contacts menus within a single swipe. But instead of simply tapping on a contact and going from there, this one involves swiping the contacts to one of the shortcuts on the right. So you can swipe to call, swipe to start a recording of a call, make sure you ask for permission first, swipe to send a voice recording, an SMS, as well as swiping to interact using a few different social media platforms. It's also got a very clean UI, which is nice to see, as well as a truckload of theming options and the ability to dig deep into the settings to configure the app how you like. 
And finally, the last app on our list today is Podcast Addict. This is already a fairly popular podcasting application, so there's a good chance you've already heard of it. But this app is the king of podcasting applications for Android. So it's kind of like a host client for everything audio related. So iTunes podcasts, YouTube and Twitch channels, audio books, radio on demand and RSS news feeds all within the single application. All you have to do is hit the little plus icon and from there you can select from a variety of different categories or simply just search from a selection of over 10 million podcast episodes to find what you're looking for. Makes it super easy to download, update, subscribe, or even discover a wide variety of content. So if you're someone who loves this sort of stuff and haven't jumped on it yet, then this app is well worth checking out. Aside from that, that's it for this video. Don't forget the links in the description below if you wanna check out any of these apps. And let me know what apps you cannot live without in the comments section down below. But that's it. Thanks guys for watching and I'll catch you later.